In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to select sub subsamples from uh, a sample. In this case, we're looking at the GSS 2006 data set. Um, so assuming you've got that open, you can follow along with this. Uh, first, I'm going to look at uh, the overall average age of the GSS. And the way I'm going to do that is analyze descriptive statistics, frequencies, and then I'll choose age from the list of variables. And you can see mean is already selected, and that's really all I'm interested in knowing. Uh, we can click OK for that. And you'll see a, a rather long table here because this uh, is a list of values. Every single age that's represented in the sample appears in this table, but down below you see that the average or the mean age is 47.49 years old. And uh, if we go back to the, the data set, you can see that there are 1,500 people. Uh, okay, so now we're going to do a little uh, exercise. We're going to go data, select cases. And we're going to take a random sample of cases. So we'll click sample. And we're going to do 1% of all cases. Uh, we'll do that three times. So we'll click OK. And we'll do the frequencies again. Choose age. Okay, go back to the output window, scroll down, and you'll see that there are far fewer people here. Uh, what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Well, there are 1,500 people in the data set, so if we took 1%, we should get about 15. In this case, uh, we randomly selected 14. And we can see that the mean age for these randomly selected people only 14 people is 48. So initially we can already observe that that is quite close to the average for 1500. Uh, so quite a remarkably close estimate uh, for the whole sample based on just 15 people because they were randomly selected. So now I'm going to repeat this step two more times and see what kind of results we get. So first we have to go to data, select cases, all cases, OK, and this kind of resets things. And then we're going to go back, data, select cases, and we'll take another random sample with 1% of all cases. Continue, OK, and then again, it, we'll do the descriptive uh, frequencies, age of respondent, see the mean and standard deviation selected again. We'll go back to the output window, and this time uh, we've got Oh, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So only 10 people were randomly selected this time. And their average age was 45.64, which we can see is a, a somewhat worse estimate, but still, you know, within a few years of the overall sample of 1,500. Again, this kind of demonstrates the power of random sampling uh, as a way to achieve representativeness. So let's do this one more time with 1%. Uh, we'll go back to the, the data view. Data, select cases, all cases. That resets it. Data, select, oh, sorry, wrong thing. Data, select cases, random sample again. Uh, again, 1%. Continue, OK. Analyze descriptives, frequencies, so it's the same steps. I'm going a little quickly just because we're repeating the same steps again. OK, and we'll go back to the output window, and we see this time, if we scroll down, we've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 uh, people chosen. And this time the average is, is quite far off. It's down to 41, so now we're, we're maybe at 5 five people off the overall sample. So it's 47 is the, the real average for the sample. And with our 15 people, we've estimated 41. So we're off by about six years that time. So what we see is you know, our estimates of 1,500 people based on randomly selected subsamples of about 15 people, about 1%. We get estimates that range from 48 uh, to 45.6 down to 41. So some of these estimates are good and some are far off. And the the difference between these estimates and the actual average of the overall sample is what we call sampling error. All right. 
Okay, so we're going to repeat this exercise taking 5% and look at the effect of sample size on our estimates. Okay, so we'll go back here, data, select cases. Again, we'll reset it by choosing OK for all cases. And then we'll go select cases, random sample, and this time we'll be looking at 5%. Continue. Okay, and we'll go to Analyze Descriptives, Frequencies, Age. Again, the same variable, the same steps. Go back to the output window. And you see this time we're taking 5%. So what's 5% of 1,500? Uh, it's it's going to be a, a lot larger, right? It's going to be oh, about 75, perhaps. Uh, in this case, 95. Uh, so what we see this time is a, a mean of 46.24 for age which if we go back to the overall sample is pretty close. It's only off by about one year, right? So we're representing 1,500 people with only uh, 95 cases. And we'll repeat this step two more times. So data, select cases, all cases to reset it. Data, select cases, random sample of 5%. Continue, okay. Analyze descriptives, frequencies, age of respondent, OK. Go back to the output and look at it. And this time 46.8 is our estimate. And if we go back to the overall sample, again that was 47.5. So we're pretty close. We're less than a year off. So that was two random samples of 5%. And we're less than a year off on those. So you can already see, though, the larger our sample is, the smaller will be our sampling error. And uh, this is based on a couple of statistical properties of normal distributions and sampling distributions, uh, which we'll not get into. But if you take a statistics course, you'll get some more background on that. So let's do this simulation one last time. Data, select cases, all cases to reset it, and then data, select cases, Random sample of 5% once more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Continue. OK. And then our final frequency distribution for age of respondent. And if we're lucky, we're going to see another estimate that's very close to the sample. Here we got 46.4. And the overall sample, again, I'm sorry about that, is 47.4. Right, so this time we're off by about one year. So each of the three estimates based on the 5% random samples were within one year, whereas the 10% or the 1% sample rather, uh, the worst estimate was off by about five years. So we can see that the larger the sample size is, uh, the smaller will be the sampling error on average. Now the implications of this particular simulation we just did if we could imagine we have a data set of the entire population of the United States, uh, we can see why a sample of 1,500 people actually can be representative uh, because of the, the properties of random sampling. And that's what this was intended to demonstrate. And this is the end.